Opal Astra, engine problems I hear you say? No, impossible, it's an Opal. Uh, let's just have a look at our oil reservoir, I mean our water, I mean our water, oil, oil or water reservoir? Actually, I'm not sure. Um, it's oil, yeah, that's an oil reservoir, right? Um, that feeds the engine full of oil, is that correct? Because it's full of oil. <laughs> and uh, typical, uh, they need a new engine. And do you know why? Here is the engine, it's 1.3 diesel. We have a complete engine, which is unusual. So we have all the belts, turbos, everything on it, which is nice, makes it easier to fit. Preventive maintenance, people. Okay, granted, you can't really prevent a head gasket from going, but what you can do is once you start having a problem, you can stop. The person kept driving this car and it now needs a new engine because it's basically melted itself. If they stopped, before this happened, just replace the head gasket or whatever you want. You know, a hell of a lot cheaper, however you look at it. Um, rather than going through all this, yeah. At the ignition, ignition off and wipers going. Listen to the noise. These are getting really, really hot. The smell, you can just smell it burning. Just started it and I wanna see what happens because this smells horrible. Let the smoke out. Look at this. Smoking. Astra. Okay, so we've got the fuse box split open. You can see there's a lot of wet around here, especially all on here, on here. There's a lot of water. Um, you can kind of see it all there too. Kind of see a bit of crusty greens there, but it's internally, this all kind of looks good. There's nothing that stands out here, apart from the bit of wet, but there's nothing really that stands out. So it's gonna be internally in here, so we're gonna to have to take off this cover and you can see the burns that's in there. Right, okay, I've split it up into three parts, took all the fuses and the relays out, and just look at the water in here. Very common problem with these. That's the back of it, you've already seen that. This is the inside of the board and we can just see green crusties, water, corrosion, absolutely everywhere we look. Flip it over, all the burning, just more water. Green crust is burning. Look at the green crust is there. This is the inside of the top plate. Nothing really much to see there. Apart from obviously all our relays, just green crust is in all our relays. Well, in most of them anyway. Yeah, the joys. Right, so a new fuse box needed. The way these boards are layered they're just, you can't really take them apart because all these start flapping around. They're a nightmare. The water gets in, corrodes everything. And uh, yeah, just a new fuse box, second hand fuse box. It's the only real fix. Um, you can see all the crust is there. You can try and fix these, but you'd just be wasting your time. Uh, you can see how much water has got into it over time and it's just burnt everything. So yeah, new fuse box needed. So. That's why the wipers are coming in. No codes, no nothing like that. Common problem with these, I kind of went straight for this, saw the smoke, and then uh, smoke led me to it. So there we go. I don't know what he's gonna have to get a fuse box. It's another garage car, so I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Um, we'll let you know if he wants me to do it or not, but anyway, 
He diagnosed it. That's what's wrong. Right, just before we finish up, I want to ask you a question. You can answer it down below. What is more dangerous, AC or DC? Now, I know both can kill you. I don't mean that. I want to know what is more dangerous and why. So, there's no such thing really as wrong answers. Put your answers down below and let's see uh, who gets it or who doesn't or whatever. What I said I'll do, I'll just quickly turn the old heat on in the car and just to see if we can actually dry this up. I'm just curious. And I have to say, it's looking well. Um, you can remove this board if you have to, but I'm just going to quickly bang this back in um, and actually see. Just curious. Now this was all wet inside all the layers and it's now not. We've still got some green crusties going on, but you can see them there as well. I'll clean all that. But just curious to see can we actually save this? or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these connections best I can, put it all back together and I'll turn the camera back on when uh, we uh, have it in. I don't think I filmed it but before this was touching that and sparking and making a horrible noise and a huge draw. Now, there's hardly anything. This was, I think this was up on eight or nine amps or something, and it was sparking, it was really quite bad. So, yeah, let's see what happens now. I haven't put them two fuses in yet. Let's see if the wipers turn on before I do anything. I haven't even put the bolt or anything in. It's just been dried out and put back in. So let's turn on the ignition and we get nothing. Right, I put the three main screws in. The bore did go down quite a bit. So, let's see what happens now. The wipers still haven't come on, but do we have ignition lights? Hey, hey we do. Does it start? It needs new heater plugs. Hey, hey it starts. Does it smoke? Forget about the noise of the engine. Different video. <laughs> it will sort itself out in a second. I have to say, at the minute, that's looking pretty good. Alright, just let me monitor this and I'll turn the camera back on if anything happens. 